The president today held a combative news conference with White House reporters. President Donald Trump said his administration inherited a mess. He listed his grievances against the news media and intelligence community, and he again defended his fired national security advisor. To be honest, I inherited a mess. It's a mess. At home and abroad, a mess. Can you say whether you are aware that anyone who advised your campaign had contacts with Russia during the course of the election? Well, I told you, General Flynn obviously was dealing, so that's one person, but he was dealing as he should have been. So Nobody you're not aware of any contacts during look, the course look. of the election? How many times do I have to answer this question? Can you just say Russia yes no is a it? ruse. Yeah, I know you have to get up and ask a question, so important. Russia is a ruse. I have nothing to do with Russia. The leaks are absolutely real. The, the news is fake because so much of the news is fake. How does the press get this information that's classified? How do they do it? You know why? Because it's an illegal process and the press should be ashamed of themselves. I just see many, many untruthful things. And I'll tell you what else I see. I see tone. You know the word tone. The tone is such hatred. I'm really not a bad person, by the way. Okay, right now joining us to talk about all this, Eddie Scary. He's a reporter with the Washington Examiner compared to the Washington Post. I think most people would classify the Examiner as the conservative uh, newspaper. <laughs> Let me ask you this. First of all, thanks for joining us again. Of course. Um, I think the president had a good time out there. He looked almost like he was in campaign mode. Uh, your take on his performance today. Oh, yeah. It looks like he was having fun. I think... Uh over the last week, we've listened to a lot of the uh, more national media talk about how he wasn't calling on national reporters uh, when he had these mini press conferences. Uh, now they get to remember what it's like to be called on, and he looked like he was having fun. And again, he's making the rules the way he wants to make the rules. This wasn't a scheduled press conference. He was supposed to be announcing his new labor secretary nominee, and he decides to hold this press conference. My, my question, he didn't seem prepared or wanting to answer a lot of questions, uh, starting with Russia. Your take. Well, he was there for over an hour, so I don't know if he was unprepared. Um, he was there for over an hour. He answered all, or he at least uh, called on many reporters. I think that um, a lot of them were unsatisfied with the answers, but it uh, looks like he did the best he could, and I think he was probably satisfied with it, and so was his base. Well, if you had to sit here and reflect or even report on it, I mean, what did he have to say in your estimation of, uh, about Russia? For example, uh, uh, we know about Flynn, but about his uh, other campaign aides reportedly having some contact with the Russians. Are you satisfied with the response? What response did you get from this press conference? Yeah, I think um, what we still don't know is what we've seen over the course of the last week are reports in which we have officials leaking pieces of things and deliberately withholding information. Uh, they won't give the information that would crystallize everything and give the information a lot of people need to know. Uh, so, so long as we have that, there will always be questions. And as long as there are questions, he can maybe answer or maybe not. He'll do the best he can. Uh, but right now, I think he gave um, this, the performance that his base wants and the performance he's probably happy with. You're absolutely right. And we're going to hear about it again when he goes and holds his rally in Orlando. Let, let me ask you this also about the president. The president during the campaign, he's running against Hillary Clinton. He didn't seem to have a problem with leaks at that point in time. Now he's got a serious problem with leaks. Mm -hmm. How do you mesh the two? How do you reconcile the two positions? Well, I don't know. That would be up to him to say, but I do know that there is a, there is a difference. Like he said today, there's a difference between leaking classified information, which is what's going on right now, and a foreign entity leaking things that are public that he says he had nothing to do with, but they are public, so he worked with that information. Um, it's a little bit different when the government is working against um, the person who is also part of the government leaking that information, so I think he has a point there. Did I hear him say that he's asked the Justice Department to look into this? He thinks there's been some criminal wrongdoing here? Well, that's supposed to be independent. Um, I know that they, the, the Congress is the one who's going to probably lead the charge on this. They say, a lot of them say, even Republicans say they want to look into it. So uh, we're going to have to see how that f unfolds. Okay, the, the president constantly uh, accuses us of fake news, making mm -hmm. stuff up. Okay, well, the president today spent a considerable amount of time saying that he has tried to get Elijah Cummings, the Maryland congressman, to sit down and meet with him. Mm -hmm. He says Elijah Cummings has steadfastly refused. He even accused the New York senator mm -hmm. of, 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 of browbeating Elijah Elijah Cummings into not holding a meeting. Elijah Cummings uh, later came out today and said there never was a meeting. He never reached out to me to meet. There was never a schedule. Meeting. I never refused to meet with the president. He looks forward to meeting with the president. Mm. How do you reconcile the two things, having to cover this stuff? Right. I think what they said was that they sent him a letter and that he did not respond to the letter about a meeting. And I think that's that's quite possible. It's also possible he never actually saw that letter. 
entirely possible. Um, but now he's saying he's willing to meet with them, and now that he's on the record doing that, he's going to have to do it. So uh, I look forward to seeing that on TV. I'm sure you do too. Yeah, and I still say I think the president scored points with, with, with his staunch supporters today, even taking down reporters, you know, putting them into a box, a category, before even attempting or to answer or not answer their questions. Do you think so? Yeah, I mean, it's, it worked for him in the campaign where he kind of takes on the media. The thing is that the media has protections, but it's not free from criticism, and people are allowed to respond. They're allowed to fight back, and that includes the president. So it works for him then. Uh, I think it's working for him now. Had you ever seen a press conference like this before from the White House? Never, and that's what makes it so exciting. Yeah, I, I totally agree <laughs> with you. Okay, thanks for coming in. Of course. All right, to be continued.